Hello from Blues Domino. It's time for another string test and review. Uh, this time we're going to go with the Gibson Les Paul. This is a 2013 Signature T model. And right now I've got the Ernie Ball regular slinkies, the ones that come in the green pack, you know, the 10 through 46. That has for years been my go-to set of strings. And uh, lately I've been doing some experimenting with a variety of other strings. And uh, one of them that I really like, that I've set up on a Strat that uh, really sounds great, is the Diodario Chromes. I go with the extra light gauge, and that's a 10 through 48. That's the warm and mellow tone flat wound strings. Uh, really like the way they play, like the way they feel, and like the warmer tone that you get out of those. Uh, this is a little bit snappier, and um, the only thing I'll do different is I'll change out the third G string uh, in that set of chromes. Uh, the flat wounds comes as a 20 wound string, and I just don't like the feel of that, so I'll switch that out for an 18 plain steel. Uh, just for comparison's sake, I'll play a couple of chords here for you to give you an idea of what we've got uh, for sound off of the Ernie Balls, then we'll restring it and do a little comparison. So here you go. Chromes, that's the warm and mellow tone flat wound, and give this a listen. <laughs> expect by putting on this set of strings. Sure did like it on the Strat. Absolutely made this guitar come alive. And uh, I am uh, here to tell you that Blues Domino definitely approves of the Diodarios, the Chromes, extra light gauge. I think uh, anybody and everybody needs to get out there and try a set of those. They play great. They just have a super nice tone to them. Uh, you know, there's a little bit more tension if you're used to doing a lighter gauge string, you might not like this, but uh, switching out the 20 wound uh, on the G string for an 18 plain steel, it's perfect. Uh, this thing, I, I mean, I just literally put these strings on, did a little bit of stretching the strings out, and... <laughs> character to it and uh, of course that makes you want to play it more so isn't it that what it's all about anyhow so uh, in closing here another thing that I noticed I don't know what it is I just even acoustically this thing has got some extra punch to it so go out there and get a set of these and keep on picking on so hope you enjoy it and till the next time we'll uh, See you again.